welcome back guys to another day of Christine's Jamaican kitchen today we are doing red pea soup and it's gonna be made with my leftover ham bone before we get started if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button tap that notification bell to be notified as soon as I have more wonderful recipes available of course you know what to do by now you just go ahead and tap that button tap 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 this is all the ingredients that we need for this dish today salt coconut milk pimento soup mix red kidney bean or peas, scallion, thyme, corn, Irish potato, your spicy pepper or non-spicy pepper, sweet potato, turnip, cocoa, garlic, yellow yam, pumpkin, flour, salt beef, and of course, your leftover ham bone. Let's wash our hands. Salt beef has been soaking, so I'm just go gonna go ahead and take it out of the water that it's been soaking in. When I say salt beef, what comes to mind? Like it's already salted? Yes. I think they add salt to it, so it can be I don't know the word. <laughs> Cure it. Ferment it. All right, so I'm gonna take it out of the water. I'm just gonna throw the water off, drain it off, and then I'm gonna cut it up. Guys, we have another guest. Look, my twin. So let's put this right here. Just gonna cut it. Jimmy, can you grab me a gloves, please? In the drawer. Thank you. I'm gonna add this to my beans that's been soaking and we're gonna stick it in the pressure pot or the instant pot. I don't really feel comfortable with that pressure pot. Oh, don't worry, mommy will take care of it. All right, hi guys. So right here we have our peas soaking with a clove of garlic and now we're just going to add the meat to it. If you could help me out, Kimmy. Just throw it in. Okay, perfect. So here it goes, we have to in the pot now. So before we put the pot on, you want to make sure you have enough water in it. So I'm going to get some more water and make sure it covers everything that's in the pot. Anyway, so we have the peas and the meat in the pot. What you need to do is incorporate some water, but it needs to have enough water on top to cover everything. So. Just like that, it's perfect now. Yay, now we can just put it on and pressure it. We'll be right back. Can you hear my pressure pot over there pressuring? So while your pressure pot is pressuring for 20 minutes with your peas and your salt beef, you wanna go ahead and you wanna wash and cut up all of your, your 
starchy food that you're going to put in. So you're going to cut up your um, corn, your pumpkin. You notice I cut the back of the pumpkin off. I take the middle out. My yam. I also have my Irish, my sweet potato in it. Kimberly said, throw away the turnip. She don't want to turn it. Um, so this is my sweet potato and I'm just having them sit in water until I am ready. Just because I don't want them to get dark. Until my pot is ready. 20 minutes later, it's fresh up. So my bean is soft and it's ready for me to move on to the next step. The reason why I had my bean soaking in water and garlic, it helps to soften it up. So when I'm ready to do this step, it will be a lot easier. See that guys? I thought the pressure pot was about to explode. Tripping. I don't know, it's scaring me. I know a lot of people are scared of the pressure pot, but the instant pot, I think the instant pot is a little bit more non-scary but the pressure pot is a little frightening for you know for a lot of us um i am not really scared i am somewhat i gotta make sure it's locked properly so let's throw this out in the other pot and move on to the next step okay So we move to a bigger pot. Oh yeah, why, why are you um, adding the ham bone to the soup? It will give it such a nice flavor. Oh my gosh, you're going to taste this. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm, I'm kind of I nervous. am positive. I'm kind of nervous. Don't be nervous, honey. Don't be nervous. So. I chopped it in half. Look at that. So I'm ready to add my ham bone. And a little scraps of ham that I had left. Whoops, 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 whoops. We're gonna go ahead and add some more water because of course we want more soup, right? So let's put the lid on. So are you making the soup thick or thin? I like it not too thin, but not too thick. Medium. Okay? And how do you make a uh, soup thick or thin? So, I usually like the yam and the potato that I put in it. What I'll do, I'll crush some of it in it and it will thicken up your, your soup. It will give it a thicker consistency. So I'm gonna add my pimentos. I totally didn't drop one before this. Totally didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks scary. Do I just drop it in? There? Yeah, just drop it in. And we're gonna add our coconut milk. Six minutes after putting the vegetables inside the soup. 
soup, we're gonna make the dumplings now. If you wanna see how I knead the flour, check out my suggested video up top. making little dumplings so you take small small ones small pieces and roll looks like I have to watch the video <laughs> ready for my food which is my corn my potato yum pumpkin all of that goody 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 and a radish it's not radish oh it's a turnip it's a turnip and a turnip don't you say to throw out the turnip oh, okay. okay don't want your vegetable no no Go ahead and add your hot soup. So just throw it out in that container right here. Like so. As you can see, when we throw the hot soup in here, it has some lumps. 
see that, Kimberly? Yeah. See that? So you're gonna add some water. Yes. Yes. I kind of feel smart today. <laughs> you are a smart baby. You are a smart girl. Can you lift the pot cover up for me? Okay, add the pot soup. Oh, my mama there, mama. Mash it all more. All of my pumpkin mash up. A pumpkin mash up, but that's okay. It's all going one place. Right, Kim? Everybody used to tell me that. You you see the pictures I, I've been eating? Dinner done, dinner ready. I you actually use two cups so I you you know started out with one but I feel like I wanted another one in so there you go. I'm gonna have the girls do the test this and tell you guys what they think. Watching for more recipes, click the link over here.